All right, it's uh, late in the evening, and I'm going to start working on the uh, lower up uh, the uh, forearm of the uh, warrior on the uh, left arm, the one that's holding where the hand is holding the uh, club, or the war club. And so, I'm going to try to work this out. I, as you can see, it, there's a hole in the, uh, the bone, or the uh, foam bone, uh, a part of the armature. So I can remove this and then put it back together again. Um, but it allows me to take it off of the armature so I can work on it singly or by itself. Time to play with some clay. I've made the I've made the radius and the ulna bone uh, in part of the wrist and that's just so that I've got some reference to go by when I start adding clay the fingers sketched in. I've got a lot of detail to work to do on them, but at least they're started. Got the palm of the hand started. I'm going to have to cut each finger off, work on it separately, and I'm going to just stop recording because it's really hard to do this in this confined area with the poor lighting I've got. So, And the wax is dark anyway. I don't think you can see very much of what I'm doing. Uh, but it shows you how I'm starting it, and uh, we'll pick this up uh, when I bring it downstairs and put it on the uh, figure. Or actually, when I reattach it to the arm here and work on the muscles tomorrow. All right, that's going to be it for the video for right now. Well, as you can see, I've got the uh, arm down in my studio, and I tried it out on the uh, sculpture, and it's perfect. Um, just going to start working on the arm, the lower arm, and then that'll solidify everything together. And... Uh, I've got uh, this arm here, and I'm working on a foam piece because I don't want to harm the uh, sculpture of the arm so far. I've got uh, a silicone mat. It's actually a cooking a baker's mat that I got offline or online, and... Uh, it's great for rolling clay and doing other things with clay because it doesn't stick to the uh, mat. The other problem though with it is it collects wood shavings real good. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to, oh, i got to get my magnifiers on.
All right. This actually might work better on my sculpting stand. I'm sculpting the ulna, the ulna bone, I think that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. Or is this a radius? Now I got the radius and the ulna bones, and uh, now I can apply the uh, muscles to them. I'm not going to get overly muscular with this uh, figure because uh, they just weren't overly muscular people. Okay, I, I figured out the best way to do the muscles on the arm is to actually have the arm on <coughs> the body. And uh, when I work on the hand, I'll take it off of the body to uh, do that part. But I've got to have this so I can see the relationship of the muscles to the uh, rest of the uh, anatomy. And uh, it's going to take a little work, but it'll be fine. I'm going to take the uh, club off. I just wanted to get the hand in the right position. What I'm going to do is uh, just put clay on top of the uh, wax. And I'll use the wax as kind of like an armature. None of the arm muscles are on, under strain, or tightened, or tensed. They're just relaxed. That's why I'm not putting every muscle in. I want it to look natural. It's far easier to work off the figure than it is on the figure.
Okay, I got the arm back on. I've got it positioned the way I want it. And uh, that's a matter of filling in. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.